In this video, we're going to cover an example of a first order RC circuit, and this time it's going to have an op amp. However, even though we have an op amp, we're still going to solve it the same way we've seen before. There is one difference though, is that instead of a switch here, they're actually going to tell us the initial value of V is zero is four volts. So we can skip the part where we look at zero minus and zero plus trying to figure out what that initial value is. So what we're going to then do is we are going to figure out what the V zero of zero is because we need to know as we're looking for that function here. We're not looking for V of T. We're looking for V zero of T. So based on this, we know this is ground. So this is zero volts here by ideal op amp. This is zero volts. We know that in steady state, the capacitor would have been an open circuit and we know that it's four volts here. And so that means there is a four volt drop across this resistor that's in parallel, which means my V zero of zero is equal to a negative four volts. So we have our initial condition of the function we're looking for. Then we need to see what happens as T goes to infinity. So it is gonna be once again in steady state. So that means our capacitor is still gonna be an open circuit here. So open circuit, ground. Now the thing is, is, at this point in time, there is no more source involved. There is no more initial voltage involved that was already taken care of at zero. So at this point, essentially all the voltage, all the energy that was stored in the capacitor will have discharged. And my V zero of infinity is just going to be zero here. There is no thing giving any more power at this point. So we've got our initial value, we've got our infinite value. So we're good in that part. Last thing we need to do is find our R Thevenin so we can get our time constant. And here is where it's a little bit of a trick. So we're looking for the R Thevenin with respect to the capacitor. So basically we want to see, okay, how can current go from one end to the other? Well, current can definitely go through here and go through this resistor. But if it tried to go over here to this other resistor, there's no way for it to get back to the other side of the capacitor. What that means is, is that R1 here does not actually affect the R Thevenin. My R Thevenin is gonna be just equal to the feedback resistor, which is 50 kilo ohms. So then my time constant, which is R Thevenin C, is 50 kilo ohms times 10 millifarads. So 50 times is gonna be 500 seconds here. And so now again, as always, V zero of infinity is K one is zero. V zero of zero is K one plus K two. In this case, it's negative four. So K two is negative four volts. So that gives me my V zero of T is negative four E to the negative T over 500. And our answer is in volts. I think to me, the trickiest part of this is that finding the R Thevenin in there, when you have this op amp, you're trying to figure out what's going on. The best way to do that in my mind is just imagine current coming from one end of the capacitor. What are all the paths it can take to get to the other side of the capacitor and use that to then figure out whether we have resistors in series parallel or in this case, the R1 doesn't actually have any effect.